Hey, how's it going YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to put a lintel into an existing um, brick wall. So we've basically got a lintel that's going to hold up the brickwork above a doorway. And um, the actual door is going to be eight, um, 80 millimeters wide uh, in the space in the middle. And so uh, when you have a um, when you have a lintel, when the building regulations it says that you need to have, um, if you're uh, using a lintel that's less than 1.2 meters, you need at least 100 millimeters bearing for the lintel to sit on here. And if it's over 1.2 meters in length, then you need to have uh, 150 millimeters at least um, for the lintel to sit on. So because our door is uh, going to be eight. 180 millimeters wide. We're just gonna we've we've cut the um, this is a 1.2 meter lintel and we've cut it down to 1.1 meters. I'm just gonna basically holding this up with some acro props that I hired from HSS Hire and then put these two strong boys on top. They're just called strong boys. I'm not sure why, but they just basically slot in and. Um, I've basically put them between the mortar joints a bit further over so it holds. You can see here I put them in the middle of the mortar joints here just so it holds those bricks up um, whilst the um, whilst the hole has been cut out. So I basically cut this out with a diamond um, rotary um, put the, I've cut it out with a diamond disc which I'll show you on our cut it out with a diamond disc on our Matica mo um, angle grinder. Um, it cuts through like butter. It's really easy. Um, and and I basically cut out two slots first for these acro props to slot in. So I went and I I drilled holes here, here, and then there and there. On the wall, and then I connected. I drilled all the way through so I could see it on the other side, and I, I sliced the position on each side for the um, acro props to go through. But I joined the dots that, of the holes that I drilled through, so I'd drawn lines to each of the holes, and then on that line I've, I've, drew, I've sliced through to put the acro props through. Then held the wall up, and then cut the entire line, and then. Uh, did underneath as well um, and now I'm basically going to put the lintel here and here uh, with more normal mortar underneath um, with a hundred millimeter um, bearing which is so it's going to be basically uh, we're going to cut a doorway just here now and on the other side um, it's hard to get the pointing right but yeah just there about hundred millimeters away from that uh, the edge of the gap and um, but before cutting the door hole I'm just going to make sure that the lintel is in place and solid and um, then after the lintel is in I'm using normal mortar, normal wet mortar I'm going to use um, a special dry packing mix which is um, uh, it's two to one sharp sand to cement and you basically just need to roll it into a ball um, with just enough moisture to hold the stuff together and clear everything of, of dirt and dust um, on all of the contact areas um, and this is basically just going to fill in the space that will be above the lintel after it's been put in place. So a dollop of, of mortar on both sides and they're going to level it and um, then there's going to be a gap above it. To fill that gap I'm going to roll up some balls of um, uh, sharp sand and cement, two to one, and wet the whole area to make sure that the bricks don't absorb any extra water out of that mix, otherwise it will get too dry. Um, but that should hold it really solidly in place, um, and when I take the acro props out again, um, I'll fill that area also with, um, with the same mixture. So uh, I'll see if I can get another video of that. Now I'm just going to make sure that this is nice and dust free on the top and the bottom. 
So I'm actually, I've got actually a 140, 140 mil thickness wool. So I'm just sweeping the top and the bottom. At the um, point that the mortar is going to touch it here and here, and then it's going to sweep the entire top. After that, get a bit of water. Just pour a bit of water on the areas that are going to contact. The mortar so that it binds to it nicely. And I'm doing the same on the contact areas here. I've sweeped all this beforehand. And I'll do exactly the same for the top here. Make sure it's nice and wet. Now what I'm doing is I'm mixing up the mortar with a five to one. Um, ratio five building sand to one cement, mixing it up dry so that it's, um, it's thoroughly mixed, and then I'm going to pour some water in and then mix it up for the final um, to its final state. So I've now mixed the mortar up, and this is a five for one mix nicely sticking to the trowel so I'm basically going to fill up this area here push it into all these gaps up here a little bit uh, we're gonna have to fill this with concrete all the way down once we cut the actual um, door hole so it doesn't matter so much about the bottom half um, and on this side I'm gonna put a dollop here and fill in the side a bit there with mortar and then put a little bit of mortar on the edge um, of each side so that I can um, so that the lintel was held in place um, at each edge as well so that's what I'm going to do and I'll show you in a bit so it's a new day and I've um, lifted the lintel in place with the help of someone else and you can see now that I've got mortar on either side and there is a gap above I had to reposition this um, acro prop because it wouldn't it wouldn't fit on this side the gap is too small so I just took one of them out and then shuffled it over and um, put that one in position and then removed the other one. Um, also these bricks are being held up by the side of the wall, uh, on the, are still being held up here so if this brick is held up then this one won't fall through anyway. So, And also we're already single storey so there's not much weight on this one, So, be, but if, you're, if you've got two storey um, then make sure you um, are careful about how you position the acro props so that things don't fall down. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is mix up some um, sharp sand and, and cement and pack up this top area. Um, and then on Monday, I'm going to um, gonna cut the whole doorway out. So you're going to see that as well. And now I've got my two to one mix of sharp sand and cement. And I'm just adding enough water to just give it enough moisture to roll it into a ball but no more than that really just to hold it together because if you add too much water it shrinks and then it's not going to be um, supporting the weight uh, above the lid so this is really starting to hold together nicely now it looks a bit kind of crumbly but when you pick it up And you squeeze it into a ball. You can see that it's just holding itself together now. And you can see the moisture just on the surface there. So we're just going to push this into the gap above the lentil. So now what I'm just going to do is wet the area that we're going to be dry packing with the two to one ratio of uh, it's sharp sand and cement, so that the uh, the brick and the lintel do not absorb too much water from it. So you can see it's getting nice and moist under there. So I found the best way for filling this the smaller gaps in the lintel is to actually push it up against the wall, lift it up against the wall like that, and then push in afterwards with a flat trowel. 
fingers were a bit too um, big, just push it in. And then afterwards, just jab it through like that. And then we'll go and check on the other side and see how much it's come through and do exactly the same on the other side. So now just looking on this side, I can see that it's begun to come through. You can see that shine of the of the uh, concrete there, the mixture that I've just made. And I'm just gonna fill this side up, the same as I did the other side, as much as possible, so that they uh, meet each other in the middle. So I'm pushing all this stuff in now, and uh, you can begin to see it getting pushed through the gap here. And every now and again, what I'll do is I'll get this thin trowel, and I'll put it in here, into the gap, and then I'll just push up against the mortar just to make sure that it's compact when it's in there, because it can often get loose. So you can see now it's been compacted. And I give a, a final compact compaction on the front. So there we go, it's completely packed out on both sides with the mixture. I've left the acro prop in. Once it's set, I'm going to leave it uh, about a week or so for it to completely set. Come back and check it. Uh, and then I'm going to fill this area on both sides as well. And um, then we're ready to cut the door out. And uh, we're going to be hiring a, um, a cut-off saw from HSS Hire uh, for that. So if you like the video, please do subscribe to my channel um, and leave a comment if you've got any questions. I've got a lot more videos coming on um, kind of build-it-yourself stuff for converting your garage. So keep your eyes peeled and thank you very much for watching.